What's going on everybody? My name is Dark Knight 4225 and today we are looking at March's Barrel and Blade. So let's get started. Alrighty, so we will be unboxing with the uh, CRKT that I had just uh, recently got in the box. So we will be using this for unboxing. Alrighty, so it is Barrel and Blade. Tactical, Survival, and Monthly. This is Operation 69. Can't wait for Operation 70. Always love the big zeros. So, uh, we did not get the level 1, we got the level 2. Uh, level 2 is everything that you get in level 1. Uh, level 2 is priced a bit more than level 1. But uh, I always say go big or go home. So that's what we'll be looking at today. So the first thing that we'll be looking at is the Transmanian Tiger Essentials Pack L Mark II priced at $100. Now, if I remember right, the level two is about 120, so we already got our money's worth there. Set that off to the side. Now, this is my honest and unboxing review. I'm not affiliated with anybody. Uh, they do not know that I make these videos, so. And I get paid for absolutely none of this whatsoever. And in doing that, I'm able to make my own honest reviews and opinions on things. Alrighty. Wow. So right off the bat, we have a backpack. I'll probably just have to... Can't zoom it out anymore. So I guess you just have to look at it sideways here. So the Transmanian Tiger equipment for professionals. I'm not going to get into all, all of that, but that's what the pack would look like in printing here. Made in Vietnam. And a lot more reading and more reading and more reading and more reading. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways. So, um, first off, it is a multi-cam black, which is, by the way, my favorite color in for multi-cam. Uh, looks like you do have two straps here that uh, you could uh, cinch the pack down to tighten everything, or if you need to add something here, you have these as well. Like if you're putting a... A sleeping bag here or whatnot you can strap it. Uh, it does have a nice uh, molly uh, loop or you know webbing I guess. Uh, it does have a square molly velcro. Um, let's see. It has the word multicam everywhere on it. Uh, looks like at the bottom here you do have looks like a zipper. That is YKK, which makes it very nice. Uh, it does have that inner or that outer seam. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Focus. Right here. Come on. Nice. There's a. There's like. It doesn't want to focus very well. Anyways, there's a seam here to uh, make it at least water resistant. So that makes it pretty nice. But yeah, you've got a, a smaller inner pocket here. Looks like it feels like there's enough room to put maybe a, a mag or two in, or maybe like your toothbrush. And I mean, it's not very big. I say probably an AK style mag would probably fit in there one. Um, it was just like small essentials. It's almost the almost the length of the knife 
opened. So that's very interesting. Uh, it does look like that the uh, looping does kind of come around. And you do have these uh, handles here. I thought they were pull handles, but they're not. And they're not uh, springy either. So I'm not quite sure exactly oops, what those are. Got some on the other side here. Then on the front, looks like you got your uh, your waist straps. Oh, my bad, that's not the waist strap, this is the waist strap. I keep bumping the phone. <laughs> uh, let's see. It feels like a thousand deer Cradora, maybe 900, just by how it feels. Uh, it feel, also feels kind of like a polyethylene as well, if you guys know what that is. Uh, you got the nice logo here, I know it's backwards. So, and it looks like you got the an adjustment piece. Also, you could take it out and strap it somewhere else. You do have some nice uh, stretchy material here and here. Probably to put uh, a water pouch, or you know the the hose for a water bladder or pouch. Uh, you got some nice uh, plastic D rings here. Got a pretty flat. Um, uh, backing here. Uh, it's semi padded. It's not the most paddest, padded thing in the world. On the bottom, I just realized it looks like you got a drain hole there. So that's pretty nice. Got a nice uh, carry handle. And uh, let's, uh, let's, let's see what's inside. Uh, what it at least looks like. Just kind of rip it open since backpacks are kind of made that way so you can see the stitching here um which i'm not that big of a fan of i wish they would have had at least another cordora or something over this because if you had anything in here and it just so happened to break any of these stitches or stitching uh, it definitely would weaken the molly here on the outside, but uh, it does look like uh, right where each one of these are at with the uh, loop. It does look like it is double stitched there. It is single stitched here, so I gotta keep in mind that. So it's not really a big heavy like you wouldn't have like raw heavy stuff on this but it is definitely a minimalist pack uh looks like you have your water bladder uh i guess cubby hole here or like a laptop uh, i would say pro well let's see mine's a 14 inch laptop and it would probably fit in here so i'd say this is about 14 to 15 uh length wide uh backpack here not very big, but uh, you know, it'll get the job done. And then this here is all that padding from the front. You uh, got your Velcro and you got a like a small deering uh, loop here to attach it if you need to or whatnot. Other than that, it's pretty open. Um, it does extend out quite far. I'd say about a hand length. For the bottom so yeah a great uh great bag to like throw your throw your laptop in and sadly there's no uh individual uh pockets or anything like that so this would almost be good just to kind of throw your clothes into for like a night pack or whatnot uh, i'm not quite sure what else you'd use it for but for a hundred dollars it's it seems decently well uh I, I personally, like I said, I personally wish that they, they would have at least added another layer here, if nothing else. And I do appreciate the YKK zippers on it. So, yeah, I'll have to 
dry this around. I'm not quite sure what I would put in it, but it doesn't hurt to have another another pack for something. So, yeah, so, very nice. Alrighty, so then, sorry I kind of rambled on there with that thing, but figures you guys need to know. All right, so the next thing is the Real Void Gun Boss AR for $30. The Real Void Gun Boss AR. I'm assuming, yeah, here it is. All righty, so this is the Gun Boss. The AR-15, uh, it's really hard for me to read that word, specific, because <laughs> if I say it real quick, it sounds like I'm saying Pacific, um, a cleaning tools ready to go everywhere, wait, oh, my bad, not everywhere, wherever your gun goes, ugh. Me and my terrible English reading, as you guys already know. So, uh, real Void, the Air 15 Tactical Cleaning Kit. There it looks like is uh, 20 pieces for the Air 15 Cleaning Kit, which I'm sure if it's you can use it Air 15, I'm sure you could use it for AK and a few other, uh, you know, pew pews out there. Um, Smartly organized and a case. So I do appreciate that it does come in a case. That's nice. At least something that you can always uh, bring around. And uh, here's just uh, some of the, well, this is, looks like everything that's in there. And it does show the somewhat assembly and disassembly. You do, please don't strike me. This is for educational purposes only. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to just uh, open this up real quick and just look at the materials and I will be right back. And now, bam, look at there. You know, I'm sure the, uh, the Flash would be proud. I know, another bad joke from the last one. So, anyways... Just, um, I'm not going to go through everything. I just wanted to look at the case and whatnot. So, uh, this is the outer, outer case here. Uh, it does feel like it is a hardback. So, it won't uh, crush very easily. I have no idea what that is. It's not even long enough to really uh, loop anything around. Because even if I... Oh, it opens up in the back. Probably for something else. Oh, I see. Okay. So you unloop that. And looks like this. It looks like this could actually come out if you really wanted it to. Uh, I do really like that. I'm not even sure what the right way up is here. That this is uh, rubberized. I can already tell I'm missing the tool. <laughs> uh, and now I'm just dropping stuff. So, anyways, um, looks like you got uh, two different types of brushes. You got your wad cleaner, uh, a pick to do something or another. I don't want to clean many rifles. There's another pick. There's a brush. I mostly use brushes. So. Um, we also got another rubberized side over here. So you got some different kind of uh, wads. Looks like a foam or not foam, uh, like almost like a cloth that's extremely cramped together. Got a little tool inside. Got uh, these tools here, which I don't ever remember using all these tools for cleaning uh looks like these are rods they s you screw them into each other to make to make the long rod which is really nice and then uh here's some of the other uh, accessory pieces here so yeah i'm uh i'm actually quite impressed with this if 
very interesting. Anyways, yeah, uh, everything here seems like a pretty good quality. Uh, nothing in this feels cheap whatsoever, but it doesn't feel so expensive where you feel like you paid an arm and a leg for it, but you know, just the everyday, decent, pretty good quality. Get that back in there. And they said this was for 30 bucks. Well, I, you know what? If I would have paid 50 for this, I probably still would have been happy. So, all right. The next item. So it looks like we only got four things in the whole box, which, you know, is kind of self-explanatory since that one was practically 100 bucks. So. Alrighty, so the next thing is the Real Avid Universal Smart Mat for $25. And by the way, guys, um, when I read this, you guys can pause it and read the description down below it if you need to. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going because the video becomes way too long then. So... All right, so here it is, the Smart Mat Universals, the next gen cleaning mat with integrated parts tray. All right, cool. Never got one of these before by the same company. Must've been going on the sale, just joking. So uh, there's that built-in integrated uh, tray there. Looks like you got some uh, other things there. It is a 43 by 16 mat. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty pretty hefty there. Uh, clean it right. And oil inserts and magnetic compartment and parts tray and everything. All right, uh, let's take a look at this. That off. It's another empty box. Got a lot of empty boxes. Got a piece of cardboard for whatever reason. And here it is. The famous mat. So right off the bat, uh, looks like we got maybe some uh, magnets. Sorry, keep bumping it. Let's, uh, no? Nope. Alright, my bad. These are not magnets. Oh. Duh. The screws to hold this in. Wow, I'm surprised I've lived this long. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, you can see a magnet right there. To, on my guess is magnetize or demagnetize. Looks like you got uh, some uh, different trays here. Got some long ones, one shorter one, one super short one, one skinny one, and one magnetized one. Uh, this here is just how it looks. It's like a uh, printed picture on it. I really like how this is hexagon. Um, the back is, let's, uh, let's somewhat roll it out here. The back is completely rubberized. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. Wow, this is a big, big mat. I'm not sure if I can even roll it all out. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see there. It says Smart Mat. Another uh, just color looking variation there. And this thing says. Uh, safety first may contain here is no ammunition in the cleaning area oh okay so just the normal uh, safety safety things because everyone needs it nowadays but wow I really like this actually how about we start making this part of our video mat I know I've been trying to make other mats and whatnot work and I just really haven't found nothing 
I'm already losing my card underneath the mat here. I can't get it. There we go. So, I, I really like this. Well, we'll just start using this, I think, as our, uh, as our, our base, I guess. So, it looks really nice. I, I really like it. I love hexagon, and it feels extremely soft. It's nice and thick, say about two millimeters thick. Everything on this just seems really high, high in price. And this was what, $25? This does not feel like a $25 mat. This feels like a hundred and something dollar mat. Anyways, all right. So the next thing is the Smith & Wesson Tanto Folding Knife for $20. Now, I see the word $20 and my first thought is, is cheap. It is probably something extremely cheap. But at the same time, I like Tanto. No, I don't quite care for Smith & Wesson. And their knife department, but uh, you know, I'm always uh, willing to look at stuff and you know, get, give every product that are shot. Because the thing is, is even though I may not like a company and and what one of the things are, I may like another. So. Okay, if you guys yell at me in the comments about it. Alrighty. So. This is the knife. Very, very classy. I like, uh, has a bit of a blue there. Um, feels like a plastic or a cheaper uh, G10. Uh, looks like you got some metal here with some uh, some uh, hole cutouts. Got a finger groove. Kind of have uh, pretty long thumb studs there. Got a decent looking pocket clip. Uh, definitely not uh, deep pocket carry. Uh, about that much will about stick out. Which, if you're looking for a design, that would probably be one of the more classier looking, you know, pieces to stick out of your pocket. So, uh, does it's on more the beefier side. I'm sure if you took these handles off, it would actually slim it down a lot. Uh, it definitely is centered, really nice. So let's use the back here. Wow, this thing has no, uh, it's a little stiff. Gotta break it in, even if I try really hard. There's no spring. Uh, it is on plastic washers. And here's that blade. Be completely honest with you. It is a cute little blade. I'm not fond of the giant handle, but that blade is just, uh, I just love how it curves this way, it curves a little bit this way. It's a cute little blade. I would definitely put on a different handle though, for sure. Uh, it does look like it is a liner lock. Uh, it is a little flush. Uh, towards the edge of the wall here, which I'm not very happy about because you put enough pressure on that. I'm not gonna try, but you can definitely make that uh, fold in. So, not uh, not a big fan of that. Uh, otherwise, I'm trying to see 0622. I'm wondering what the uh, the blade steel is on this. Um, 2.5 ounces. Uh, the blade length is 2.75. Oh, here we go. It is a uh, 8CR13MOV, 
which is a, a person pretty uh, basic basic steel uh, easy to sharpen somewhat yeah so a great little uh, box opener I oh, said about an inch and a half I mean that thing says two inches but if you're I'm not sure exactly how they're measuring this but if they're saying almost two inches I'll I'll believe them but uh, yeah definitely a nice little uh, knife to throw on a vehicle or I don't know throw in your junk drawer and then when you need a knife because you can't seem to find your nice knife or you don't want to break your nice knife you just pull this little guy out which <laughs> as you can see I can't even flick it and this one's not even spring bearing either but it's just the weight I guess it's just feels cheap you can hear it cheap 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 so already well I think I rambled on long enough I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of hearing my beautiful voice so alrighty so quick recap let's uh, talk about the elephant in the room this I like it and I'm going to mention it, even though you guys have may not heard me say this, and maybe you have, but I'm going to mention it again. I absolutely love when companies, when they grab stuff, throw it all together, and just make it work. And what I mean by that is, for example, uh, now, I'm not talking about them to, to promote them or anything for uh, barrel and blade, but I love it when BattleBox, uh, when they did their cooking, they did a whole cookware set, and I absolutely loved it. With barrel and blade, I love that they gave us everything that we need for our pew pews. We got the we got the cleaning mat. We got our cleaning tools. I'm not sure why we, why we need a knife, but uh, we could almost throw that in there and call it mostly a kit. And we got this uh, pretty basic backpack here, which I could see maybe you uh, if you had a foldable. Uh, AR platform it actually would fit in here quite well so uh, I, I think this is very cool I really really like this thank you barrel and blade for listening uh, I, I'm sure a lot of other people will appreciate it because I, I love it when when people do this because in, in companies even as well because uh, sometimes you you get you get something and you're like great now I need this other product to get this product done and it just isn't in the box and you're almost needing to go pay for it when you're like well why didn't I just get that in the box um, this isn't really necessary for all of this uh, I would definitely say that the cleaning kit and the mat is definitely a set but uh, just knowing you got a pack, I mean, shoot. I, I honestly don't know, well, I really don't know anybody that would turn around and give you a backpack besides maybe tag pack. Um, other than that, uh, you know, hey, pack's a pack, cleaning's cleaning. Something to cut with is something to cut with. So anyways, enough of my blabber. I'll give this a 4 out of 5. Uh, only reason is this. Even though there's only 4 items here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Only because I think the, the this company could have done a better job on their pack a little bit. And 
what was this, 20 bucks, 25 bucks? Come on. I, I've, I've seen you guys do way better on your knives, or on a company's knives, and I understand that uh, this stuff here is, you know, they, they get it on a, on a sale or in a big, I guess, uh, bargain or whatnot, and they're able to sell it in bulk, and I understand that. So, but other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for uh, opening Operation 69 with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.